Hey everyone, my name's Braden. In this video, we're going to go over how to create a column of cumulative sums. Just for a quick overview, here's a little animation that shows you how cumulative sum works. So we have a column of values and we're going to create our cumulative sum column. In that first row, we have a value of five. And since there is nothing to add to in the cumulative sum column, we will just use zero. So five plus zero is five. And then we take our four and add it to the five from above. And then we take the six and add it to the nine from above. And then the three and add it to the 15 from above. And finally the two and add it to the 18 from above. So what we're doing is getting a running total for each column as we move down each row. Sometimes this is called a running total. So to accomplish this in pandas, what I've done is obviously import pandas as PD and then create a data frame we'll call the column sales and added the values here. Let's say we wanna look at this data frame real quick. Here we are. Now to create a cumulative sum column, we'll say DF and we'll just call it C sum for cumulative sum. And then what we'll do is specify the column that we want our cumulative sum on and call come sum. So let's see what that produces for us. And we see that we get what we expected based on that previous animation that we showed. So five and then five plus four, nine plus six, 15 plus three and 18 plus two. This obviously works best if you don't have any missing values, but if you did, let's just copy this data frame here and this command here. And then we'll say that this three is actually missing. So we'll say pd.na. What we can see is that when we have a missing value, that cumulative sum just skips over that row. So in most cases, that's a handy feature to have, but we should be aware of that just in case we were summing the number of products for a month and we had a missing month. That might throw off our yearly totals or other statistics that we're trying to produce. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below in the comment section and I'll do my best to get back to them. If you found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I tried to put out a weekly video on tips, tricks, and tutorials related to data science topics. Otherwise, thanks for watching.